But first, let's have a look quickly at the results in Eden Monero. Labor has held on to the bellwether seat with no swing against it and almost the same result in 2PP terms that it recorded at the 2019 federal poll. It was a close contest. Labor recorded 50.58% of the 2PP vote and the Liberals 49.42%. A swing against Labor of just 0.27%. This is despite the retirement of popular local member Mike Kelly. Given the scandals Labor endured during the campaign, with the branch stacking saga in Victoria, the allegations of foreign interference in the ASIO investigation in New South Wales, and given just how well Scott Morrison is doing nationally, this is really quite a remarkable result for Labor. It's not one that even Anthony Albanese expected. Here was Anthony Albanese with his candidate and now MP-elect Christy McBain today. Uh, to quote uh, Matt Johnson from the, the, this is the day when Christy McBain's life will really change. It'll change for the better and she'll change Australia for the better. I congratulate Christy McBain on a fantastic victory in Ed Monero. Labor's win will embarrass some in the coalition who are predicting publicly a Liberal victory. If you were watching Sky, you would have seen New South Wales national leader, Nationals leader John Barillaro say this last night. On those numbers, and Carabar, that South Queanbeyan area, is a, a tough area for the coalition. Uh, I think once you add that into the pre-poll, I, 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 I'll call it Libs of one tonight. And he went on to confidently predict that Liberals would... Uh, would win the seat. And of course he was wrong. Labor frontbencher and leader of the right faction in New South Wales, Joel Fitzgibbon, also got it wrong this morning when he described it as an ugly win for Labor. It's a bit of an ugly win for us, uh, I can see, but it's a win just the same. It was a difficult election for us. On the primary vote, the Liberals performed better than Labor. The Liberals had a 1% swing towards them with 38% of the primary vote. Labor, meanwhile, had a lower primary vote of 36%, a 3% swing against it since the federal election. The Nationals' primary vote was stable at about 6%. Basically, this all means that preferences got Labor over the line. We know that John Barillaro, leader of the Nats in New South Wales, and he was considering at one time running as a candidate, that he was urging voters to preference Labor over the Liberals. He was hoping and intending to run for the seat at the next election.